Okay, so we are doing a science and technology essay now. Um, examine the role of ethics in controlling the use of inventions. And remember that when you are um, when you have the word examine, it means that you need to look at both sides of an argument. And so, you know, in relation to this particular question, you're trying to look at both sides of whether or not um, ethics should control the use of inventions. So looking at our introduction, um, again, remember, we're just looking at a short introduction, four lines. Don't waste loads of time writing an introduction that you're not going to get marks for. Um, in your introduction, you're talking about use and abuse. And remember, this is really what the role of ethics is in controlling um, science and technology. It's ensuring that um, inventions and science and technology are used rather than abused. And in your introduction, you'd also just mention how um, the inventions that you're going to specifically talk about are things like stem cell research, CCTV and nuclear technology. Please remember that you must include specific examples of science, of technology uh, and so on when the question is about those things. So the first paragraph that we could talk about is about the slippery slope. And we need to say how some inventions can be used or abused. So we could use the example of cloning, how it can be used to save lives, for example, by cloning um, defective organs, organs that don't work. So uh, a new organ is cloned um, and, and implanted into the person with the defective organ. However, that technology could also be abused, and we could end up descending down the slippery slope. And what we mean by the slippery slope is that um, as you allow something to take place, so for example cloning, um, who's to say that in you know, three years' time, we don't then allow something else which we previously thought was, was not quite right. And then who's to say that three years on from that, we, we end up allowing something that you know, was, is, even, is even worse, and, and, and even worse than that, and so on, and so on, and so on. And so you allow more and more dubious developments until it gets out of hand, until you know, it becomes, we end up allowing something which we thought we'd never allow. So for example, cloning could end up you know, hypothetically, with us cloning a superhuman race if we do not prevent it descending down the slippery slope. And that is the role of ethics. Um, ethics needs to control uh, inventions to ensure that we do not descend down this slippery slope. The second thing that we can talk about then um, is maybe something to do with human rights and how some inventions like CCTV can both protect but also infringe our human rights. So again, you know, we're examining, we're looking at how um, we're thinking about whether science should or uh, whether ethics should or should not control um, science and inventions and technology. And here we're looking at both sides of it. So, C so CCTV can protect um, certain human rights, like our right to life or a fair trial, by protecting us. You know, and if we if we are um, a victim of crime, that that there is evidence there to support us as we as we prosecute. Um, the perpetrators of those crimes and CCTV um, on the other hand could also infringe our human rights so for example our right to privacy or freedom of speech because if you're scared that you cannot speak out because um, a video camera will record you um, or you want to do something in private but you can't because there's CCTV all over the place um, then that maybe infringes on those human rights. And so what we need to say is that the role of ethics is to make sure that technologies like CCTV, which do have such an impact on our human rights, do so in a positive way by protecting us and protecting our human rights rather than infringing them. The next point that we could make is about um, religion and really the relationship between inventions and science and technology and religion. And we can say how they can sometimes conflict and so we need to say how religious people have um, very strong beliefs and if an invention conflicts with those beliefs, it could have dangerous consequences. So, for example, uh, you know, a few years ago, um, uh, kind of fundamentalist Christians uh, blew up uh, abortion clinics. And so that's just one example of where science and technology conflicts with religion and it can have quite serious consequences. So if we use another um, example of an invention, cloning. Um, this is a technology which most religious people would oppose because they believe in the sanctity of life, that life is holy and belongs to God. 
They believe in uh, that life begins at conception, and so they would class the destruction of embryos used in cloning as murder, and that's against the Ten Commandments. And they would be saying that we are not valuing the sanctity of life, we're not respecting the fact that our lives are there because God has made them, and it's up to God to decide what happens to them. And so therefore... Uh, they would say that cloning is wrong. So what ethics needs to do is it needs to try and prevent this conflict. Um, so it needs to try and prevent the possible conflict between religion and uh, inventions. However, what you also need to say is that it should be recognised that we now live in a secular society. So at the same time, whilst it should maybe um, ethics should maybe deal with inventions and try and prevent those conflicts from happening, we also need to stress that we live in a secular society um, where perhaps uh, religion should not have as much of a say as it used to do. So then moving on, we're thinking about how um, ethics, um, in a negative way, could prevent discovery and invention. So some technology has already been invented, or scientists know how to use it or, or how to, how to um, develop it, um, like stem cell research, but ethics has prevented its use. Now, this can be good or bad. It could be good because it's ensuring that technology is used, not abused. However, it could also be bad because if ethics prevents too much from taking place, it could end up that we um, it could end up preventing discovery and, and the benefits of those discoveries, like with stem cell research, preventing lives being saved, for example. And so, therefore, ethics should control the use of inventions to an extent. It should control but not prevent discovery and the use of invention. And then finally, another question which we need to consider when we're examining the role of ethics in controlling inventions is which ethical approach do we actually take? Because even if we do feel that ethics should control the use of an invention, um, a limiting factor is deciding which approach we actually take because they're so different. So teleological ethics would allow the use of inventions as long as they resulted in, in a certain end. So, for example, um, happiness for utilitarians. Whereas deontological ethics would not allow the use of perhaps the same invention if it does not meet one of their rules or principles. So, for example, utilitarians would allow the use of cloning as long as it resulted in the most happiness for the most people, because for them that means it's morally good. However, a Kantian using the categorical imperative would never allow cloning as it uses the embryo as a means to an end and that does not pass criteria to of the categorical imperative. So, therefore, how do you decide which ethical approach to take? So, even if we wanted to, um, pr you know, control um, the use of uh, of cloning. How do we know which approach to take? Because they would both come up with very different answers on whether or not we could use them or not. Uh, and so therefore, even if we want to use um, ethics to control inventions, it can be difficult.